What is up, guys? In this video today, we're actually be talking about what actually is a brand. Um, not this is not like a how to build a brand video or like you know like how to start a brand, how to create a brand. It's or actually can actually be like what is a brand, so that when you are actually creating a brand um, and doing that stuff, you actually have this you know reference material to actually go by and actually realize okay, there's all this underlying stuff that real good quality brands do and understand to actually make a lot of money with okay because i think a lot of people in this space or if you know especially if you're watching this video a lot of people that are trying to start a brand or just in e-commerce and stuff like that they, they they have this sort of perception that branding is just like aesthetics um that's not the case like almost at all um but it does play a part it does play a, a pretty you know a pretty important part um in you know what actually is a brand and what, what makes a brand um, but that's what this video is about so without further ado first of all a brand okay does not exist in your company does that make sense a brand doesn't exist in your company it lives in the mind of your customers okay when someone says your brand's name when someone says your company's name what do they think like well what goes on in their head right Th that that's your brand right there okay if you say you know adidas shit like if you even say gucci like if you say these designer brands like what do you think right away okay i mean gucci i think a little pump but like <laughs> like with these brands right you, you have this image in their head that's the brand okay because ultimately like you know like you can do certain things to reinforce your brand's image and curate that image for your customers but ultimately like you, the, what a customer thinks or what a potential customer thinks or what anyone thinks of your store of your company that's what makes your brand like ultimately that what that's what your brand is okay you can't dictate that you can't change you know if if, if everyone in the world thinks your brand is this sorry buddy like that's your brand then okay it's very hard to change that without again understanding what actually makes a brand and what actually is a brand and going through all this stuff and you know having control of all this okay so what does that actually mean so basically every touch point okay and interaction between persons people in your company furthers this image in their head, right? So every single interaction that anyone has with your business, or anything related to your business, okay? Like even press, all that stuff, right? That's why like PR and press is so important to these big companies and why they invest in this stuff and buy it. Every single interaction and touch point is super vital. And you know, the more there are like every single one of these reinforces again, a vision or this image in that person's head, which ultimately becomes what your brand is to them. Okay, which again, is going to be the deciding factor in whether or not they buy from you is if they like your brand, if they think of it the way it is, then they're gonna resonate with it and purchase. Okay, that, like that's how you make money. So how do you actually, how do you actually do that? Um, basically, right, you need to have control of all touch points. You need to have control of every single touch point interaction between a potential customer, right? Between just any person on the street and your customer. You need to be able to have control of every single one okay that's why drop shipping and stuff in general like it's a good way to get into it but it should never be your end goal you can make a lot more money if you understand what actually a brand is and can capitalize off of that okay so like what i mean like in terms of like your website okay again that's a touch point or an interaction between a potential customer and your brand right everything on your website the logo the favicon all the all the content on your site the copy on your site right all these things that a client will interact with seeing your website okay that's that's interacting with your website um, you know, actually going through it, like, like that's why websites and stuff, like even like they go to the smallest length or the, the biggest lengths to make the smallest changes of stuff. Like sometimes buttons, you know, they, you click it and it does it like it feels a certain way, or like on an app, right? You press a button and it vibrates a certain way. Like these are all interactions that reinstate a value of your brand. Like if, if, an, if an app just feels really good when you're playing around with it, right? Then you think of it as a higher quality app, right? Again, that becomes the brand, right? Does it, like that makes sense. It sh this should make sense to you guys. Okay. Um, and so basically like again like going back to this like your website and having control of all the touch points interactions that a potential person would see on your website is super vital right which again in drop shipping or in other e-commerce models is pretty easy to do on a website scale okay now in terms of marketing right marketing it's like your ad creative okay having control of your content the copy of your ads okay where they're being displayed how they're being displayed how they're being shown how frequently they're being shown where are they being shown all these different aspects relate to the touch points and interactions between a person and your brand okay so it's like like again having control on every single one of these aspects is what makes your brand so you need to realize if you want to start a brand or create a brand or if you're in the process of doing so you need to be almost a control freak in wanting to control every single interaction between you and your brand okay next one content okay content plays into everything already like content plays into your website your ad creative your marketing your emails right if you have custom pictures for your emails okay everything that's being displayed comes back to content you need to have control of all your content or you don't control your brand if you can't control your content you have no control of your brand okay that's why in drop shipping if you're only using supplier pictures that's your brand people are looking at that and seeing like okay 
get this person's name, like your store name, they see all these the, like the supplier images, the the not custom content, the content that you stole off of Google, the stock images, like they see that, that becomes your brand, okay? Delivery, okay? When I say delivery too, this is a super important aspect in a sense that like the unboxing experience, again, like with other e-commerce models, you can't really do this, but like having an actual brand, um, you can, you can control the unboxing experience, okay? When someone gets your product, okay? When they get your package and they open up the cardboard box from UPS, USPS, whatever the, wherever they got it from, take it out of the box, and does it feel good? Does it smell good, right? Sensory marketing plays a big role in this, okay? That's why some brand has, has a certain scent. And then when you're out in the world doing, doing, your, do, doing world things, <laughs> doing world things, you know, if you get a whiff of that, you recall that brand, okay? Sensory marketing, it plays a lot, you know, of an important role, but I have a whole video on this too, but like, it's just important, okay? The entire unboxing experience is important, okay? You know, do you, like, what do you say when they open the box? Like, are there any custom inserts in there that, you know, one can, you know, persuade them to purchase more if you give them a, a coupon right after they purchased? Um, but just like, you know, is there backstory to the brand? Like, like what's going on in that aspect, right? Um, the entire delivery and experience that that customer has after they already gave you their hard-earned money and you're going the extra length to ensure that, you know, they actually feel good and they're excited when they get their product and everything like that. That's super important. That controls your brand. They have this idea now in their head of your brand that again, with this interaction with the actual product and the delivery of the product, further reinforces the image of your brand and the, the sort of like the vibe that you wanna give off, right? The next one I wanna talk about is like mind, okay? Being top of mind is also a super important factor and like how do you actually do that? That definitely comes down to more of like a marketing side of it, but basically it's just like, you want people to be thinking about your brand a lot. That's how you make a lot of money, is if people are thinking about you a lot. Because if you think about it, you know, there's, there's only 24 hours in a day that each person has. If you can take up more of that time in the day, then they're more likely to you know, be involved in purchasing from you, right? If they're thinking about you all day long, that's, you know, that's, I mean, could be a bad thing, uh, but like most of the time it's a good thing to have them constantly thinking about your brand or you know, to have them frequently thinking about the brand, seeing your brand, interacting with your brand, okay? All these things increase the chances of them purchasing from your brand or purchasing from down the road or telling their friends about it and just further reinstates this image that this brand has in your head, okay? Um, but yeah, top of mind, super, super important. Um, next one, guys, is always reiterating like your core of your brand. Now, this goes underlooked a lot. But basically, like your core of your brand is like, what does your actual brand stand for? Is there a backstory behind it? Is there like a, a vision behind it? Like what was the brand made for, right? Um, a lot of times, right, the brands that like, go really, really big are because, you know, the people that started the brand, they understood this, right? They understood that every single, you know, the product, the packaging that delivers to the customer, like, it needs to follow what the brand is or what the brand's values are, what the brand's story is or what, you know, what, what their vision is for the long term, right? It needs to all align. Um, and it plays a big role into, like, design. Like, that's why you see, you know, car designers and stuff, like, old cars, uh, like, or, like, new cars, they draw back from the old cars. Like, they keep that sort of lineage, right? They keep sort of, like, the classy, like, classes. Obviously, it changes down the road, but the overall vision and scope of the product stays the same and it keeps the brand aligned with, again, the core motives of what they're pursuing, okay? Or what their intentions are with that brand, all right? So again, always reiterating your core through these interactions that people are having with your brand, okay? Now, like again, you need to like always have ongoing and continuous touch points that reinforce your brand. Now, how do you do that? Again, this comes back to a lot of good marketing and just having a good story that people can relate to and start thinking about more often, okay? But a lot of it comes down to good marketing, right? So like having a continuous influx of, you know, more touch points and cut, like when I say touch points, guys, this means like more exposure. So like more people are like seeing, like a touch point is like your brand, potential buyer, touch point, okay? So that's what that is. And so when I say more touch points, it means like more exposure, more traffic, uh, whatever that may be, but just having more of that, like almost like even like, for example, if you're doing like influencer marketing on Instagram, right? Having a set schedule that's all like always planned out. You're not just buying shout outs randomly trying to get sales, right? That's not how a brand would operate. Maybe you have a set schedule where Monday, Wednesday, Friday are a certain set of influencers that are pushing it. Sunday, you have, you know, a giveaway every Sunday um, that these influencers are pushing. And then, you know, you have like a schedule going on. So you, again, you are in control of all these touch points when, you know, when this exposure is being delivered, handed out, how these interactions are being managed, um, all this kind of stuff. Like, again, you have more control over it which is good, like you need that kind of stuff, okay? And then just being able to translate that and have it all relate 
to your brand's core, your brand's story, like why would an influencer want to shout you out? Why would someone big on social media want to, you know, show off your brand? Does it stand for something cool? Does it do a, like, you know, does it help a good cause? Um, you know, is a story cool? Is it just really, you know, aesthetically sick and that like aesthetically, you know, nice looking that people are like, oh man, this is really, really cool. I want to share it, right? It just depends on what your brand's core values are and sort of how you're sort of pursuing that, okay? So, yeah, that is um, it's a very, honestly, like I want to make this a short video, but right now it says it's at like 12 minutes, so Jesus, thank you for bearing with me. Um, it's another late night, but actually it's really, really late. I'm super tired. But yeah, guys, so basically I want to touch about that, like what actually is a brand? I didn't want to be like, oh, this is how you make a brand. This is how you like actually make a product, stuff like that. Um, this is like what actually kind of derives like the core of a brand and creates this sort of like omnipresent um, sort of factor that, you know, you, again, you can set it like you have control over and you can scale and you can push and you can grow while maintaining, you know, this core structure of like what your brand stands for, what it is, and sort of how to, again, control all these little aspects and sort of like, it's like a pool or like a, like an inflatable pool. Like you don't want any holes in it that leak out or you're not going to have a pool. And if you need a pool, you can't have any holes in the pool. And so by having control of all your touch points, right, there's no holes, there's no leakage of your brand, right? It's not, your brand's not being weakened by anything that's like being leaked out. You have control over everything. Okay, guys? So that was the video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like, make sure to comment, and make sure to subscribe, guys. We are doing a lot of videos, a lot of interesting videos that we got planned for you guys. Um, but yeah, that's the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you guys in the next one. I'm about to knock out. It's like four in the morning, and I will see you guys in the next one. Take care. Peace. I'm done. <sighs> Time for bed, baby. I'm so tired. Same, dude. I almost fell asleep down there. Yeah. Well. Yeah. <sighs> okay. Mm, okay. <clears throat> well. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. I'm so tired. Hmm.